Cloudflare Gateway protects offices, homes, and corporate networks from malware and other security threats without sacrificing performance. Gateway provides a secure DNS resolver and filtering service that inspects and logs all DNS queries to apply policies that either block or allow the request. This video will show you how to get started with Cloudflare Gateway by configuring a location, creating a policy, and using that policy to block security threats. To get started, navigate to the Cloudflare Gateway dashboard at dash.teams.cloudflare.com. If you don't have a Cloudflare account, you can sign up and the browser will redirect you back to the Gateway Overview page. Now, let's configure a location. A location is typically a physical location, like your home, office, store, or a data center that you'd like to protect. For this demo, let's call our location AUS-1. Gateway should automatically detect your IP address, which allows Gateway to know which requests are coming from your location or network. Now, let's configure the DNS resolvers. To take full advantage of Cloudflare Gateway, you should change your router settings to the Gateway IP addresses. For this demo, I'm only going to use the IP addresses that Gateway assigns. Now, let's configure the DNS resolvers. To do this on a Mac, go to your laptop's system preferences, click Network, then Advanced, and navigate to the DNS tab. You'll see your existing internet provider's DNS server IP address here. Add in the IP addresses from the Gateway dashboard by clicking the plus sign. If your network supports IPv6, make sure to add the IPv6 address here as well. Click OK, then Apply. Now, my laptop is sending all of its DNS queries to Gateway's DNS resolvers. To complete the location setup, navigate back to the Cloudflare Gateway dashboard and click Complete Setup. After configuring your first location, you'll see the Gateway Overview page. Here, you can view your location's requests and if they were allowed or blocked. After the initial setup, the graph may take a few minutes to show data. While we're waiting on the data to populate, let's confirm that our location was properly configured. It looks like our location is properly configured, but as you can see, there's no policy assigned. Let's create one. Create a policy and apply it to your location to protect your network from internet security threats like malware and phishing. The policy will control what the user can or cannot access while connected to your location. To create a policy, click Policies, then Create a Policy. For the purposes of this demo, I'm going to create a policy that blocks malware and social media. Let's call this No Malware or Social Media. We'll assign it to our location by clicking here. Here, you can enable a block page, which will show if a user attempts to access a page that's been blocked. Let's enable it, then click Preview to see what a block page would look like. Let's disable it for now. You can also enable Safe Search, which allows Cloudflare to automatically filter content based on the same restrictions that large search engines use to protect users from explicit content. Now, let's identify what security threats we want Cloudflare Gateway to protect against. Gateway allows you to block all security threats listed here with one click, which include malware, phishing, and spam. Let's just block malware for now, then move on to the content categories. Gateway allows you to block certain content categories. Since we want to block social media with this policy, click Society and Lifestyle, then Social Networks. If you'd like to allow or block a specific domain, you can do that in the Allow Block tab. Let's enter chatgoogle.com to ensure that it's blocked and click Add Domain. Now that the policy has been configured, let's click Add Policy. The policy will propagate throughout the Cloudflare network in a few seconds. So in the meantime, let's check out the Gateway Activity Log. The Activity Log is where you can see all the requests to your configured location. You can also see what content categories the requests were associated with. This request was associated with content servers and information technology content categories. It was an HTTPS request created from the AUS-1 location and was allowed as it didn't trigger the policy. Now, let's test our policy to make sure that it works properly. Let's test the social media portion of our policy by attempting to navigate to Twitter. Shortly after hitting enter, you'll see an error page indicating that Twitter cannot be reached. Cloudflare Gateway has successfully intercepted the request and blocked the page accordingly. 
During this Cloudflare Gateway walkthrough, you saw how to configure a location, create a policy, and use that policy to block internet security threats. To learn more about Cloudflare Gateway, navigate to teams.cloudflare.com backslash gateway.